what is going on guys welcome back to run my crypto i hope you guys are having an amazing day today so what i wanted to do with this video is basically take you guys to the understanding that there is still time to get into cryptocurrency and you have to do it now what i want to do is show you how to maximize ten thousand dollars in cryptocurrency with specific projects that i've done tons of research on and i know that are going to make some significant gains in cryptocurrency but all in all this is not financial advice just education I'm not telling you to do something, just giving you an example. Guys, we're super early in this bull run. This bull run really, in my mind, has not even started to take off. Uh, we still got plenty of growth and potential opportunity in front of us. So if you're really serious about investing in cryptocurrency and you're ready to stop playing around, watch all the way through to the end of this video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you can understand how to maximize your cryptocurrency portfolio relentlessly all right so as we we get into the bull run we really have to understand where uh you know what are the requirements of being successful in cryptocurrency and one of the main things is obviously your mentality right so when you invest in cryptocurrency your mentality has to be right you can't uh invest in a project and you know play it as an emotional thing so you get uh you know many people fall into this where you know they're very confident in a cryptocurrency project and they invest into it and then you know their heart is all in they're 100 percent all in on this project to do some massive things but unfortunately the way that uh you know the real world real world works and you know uh, the way cryptocurrency works is that you know generally you know the communities could go uh you know pretty much geared to another cryptocurrency that's going to take uh, the limelight because of you know hype media so on and so forth but the key is is to preparing yourself mentally and knowing that you know it's not going to come easy it's not like you could just you know i mean you can take a thousand dollars put it into a cryptocurrency project and then you know hope to make some big money out of it but that's not what you know the course of action to be really successful in cryptocurrency is the true course of action is to basically prepare yourself as much as you possibly can to be successful and what i mean by that is doing your research behind the projects understanding that you know you're going to invest in this specific project but you know it's not you're not only going to go into that one you're going to go into a plethora of cryptocurrency projects what you want to do is like any other investment you know if you look at the s p 500 you got 500 big companies that you're investing in uh you know to make big returns that's the same type of mentality but it's not the s p 500 it's crypto top 10 or crypto top eight you know that's what you want to set your mentality to and you want to try to get your total investment up to about 10k so that you could break those barriers of making some huge return on investments and how to put all this into perspective is you know you pick these projects and i and i have examples of projects that i'm going to talk about later on in this video but you pick you know your top eight your top ten you know whatever you have to get in to invest in right now or in the you know in the past if you have your portfolio into you know 1000 2000 3000 you know you may not you can't really expect to make you know some massive massive money but if you could push yourself to getting you know into that 10000 investment cuz look if you think about it if you picked you know five projects and you invested $10000 into those five projects you know if at minimum at minimum everyone does every project that you pick does a 10x you know that's a hundred grand so what you really need to think about is diversifying your 10 grand into essentially projects that are going to do a minimum of 10x some they're going to do 20 to 40x and then maybe those 50 to 60x gems you know maybe it might even be 100x but you you know you got to get lucky on those be behind a lot of research and understanding but to play it safe, you know, you, you get the 10x returns, you get, you know, your 20 to 40x returns and then your 50 to 60x returns. And now you're sitting in half a million dollars, um, you know, maybe even more, maybe even you could hit a, hundred, uh, a million dollars, but you really have to know when to pull the trigger, right? So you got to know when to pull the trigger on taking profit. So your mentality has to be right, because if you're rolling with a mentality that, you know, is full of greed, you're going to end up putting yourself in a position that you're going to really hurt yourself when it comes to being able to uh you know realize some return on investment so my my first thing is to understand how the market works 
put your mind to understanding that hey you know what this may be the top um or it's close to the top i need to go ahead and remove you know a big percentage of my investment uh you know before it goes back down so that is the one key to help you be successful in cryptocurrency so you may ask well how do i get to ten thousand dollars if that's not even remotely possible well i'll tell you what anything's possible even if you're sitting at about a three thousand let's say your portfolio has around three thousand dollars in it you know what can you do to be able to build that portfolio you know you have to sacrifice it takes a lot of hard work it takes a lot of dedication and it takes that mustering to see your investment go up and your investment go down right so you have to be able to understand that you're going to sacrifice whatever you can to put additional funds into your projects to get them up to equal bit about a ten thousand dollar investment in some very good projects now it's going to be tough because you're saying i'm sacrificing all this but now i'm seeing you know an investment so like let's take for example internet computer if you got in today and it was 13 dollars you know you put 100 bucks in there but guess what by next tuesday it's down to 11 bucks 10 bucks and now your mind is like oh my god what did i do well here's the deal you know we are going to see pumps we are going to see pullbacks but here here's the flip side to it you could put it in today at 12 13 and guess what next tuesday it's 35 dollars, and now you never got an opportunity to hop in to that 12 13 level and you're telling yourself now well damn i should have got in because i had an opportunity to get in at the 10 uh or i mean at the 12 13 and now you're not going to see that no more so we know the facts right so you have to look at the facts the bull runs coming the chances of you know the prices going up and up are highly more uh available because you know in a bear market we always you know we tend you know the the risk the the for the crypto to go up is less likely to go up than it is to go down right so in a bull market it's totally opposite because now for it to go down is less likely than for it to go up so understanding that and having that in your mind knowing that <laughs> i'm jumping into crypto you know this may be a big dollar amount that i'm getting into for the token but you may never see that price again so this is the difference between a bear market and a bull market and getting in to a project and funding your project so let's look at the type of work that it's going to take to be able to get you know get yourself to being successful in cryptocurrency and getting yourself to that ten thousand dollar portfolio so first off when it comes to really digging into cryptocurrency you know you want to be able to uh, do the research <clears throat> you know you want to go through projects and when you look at projects you want to look at their community you want to look at what their real world utilities are you want to look at what the future of this project has in order you know and think to yourself <clears throat> is this going to be a project that's going to be successful 10 years from now 20 years from now <clears throat> that's how you got to really look at uh, cryptocurrency projects and then <clears throat> you know also is it uh, really in alignment with web3 decentralization you know do they have uh, unique blockchains that other cryptocurrency blockchains don't have that you think in your mind is going to be beneficial to cryptocurrency and to yourself as a user you know this is the type of research that you put into these projects and you know you want to set investment budgets right so you want to be able to look through your finances and basically say well let me see what i could cut out to be able to add to my cryptocurrency portfolio that will help you dca which is dollar cost average into projects that you could start building up for example if you had three projects and you had uh 2500 you had a thousand in one project a thousand in another five thousand in the other one i mean 500 in the other one sorry what you want to do is build up you know those those projects that you know that are going to do um you know 10x right so you look at these projects you know the first one you have a thousand in it you know in your mind it's going to give you a 10x but you want to build that up a little bit more because basically that's your safety net so you know that no matter what you're going to hit a 10x off of that project now you want to get a little more riskier when it comes to and this is my advice because if you don't have a lot of money you want to put a little bit more money where the risk is so you want to build up those moderate risk projects where you can see 20 to 40x on return so you want to build that up obviously but you don't want to 
you know, bet the house on a project that you think is going to do 100x because, you know, the internet says that it's going to do 100x and, you know, there's no uh, really telltale signs besides, you know, seeing that there's just a bunch of promises with blockchain technology that's similar to other cryptocurrency projects. But if you get one of those those newly projects that's coming out and it has a unique blockchain and it has some utility and those roadmap uh, marks are getting checked off, you know, per quarter. So they're actually staying up to date with the roadmap that they put out. Yeah, maybe that's a project you want to try to put a little bit more into um, versus something that, you know, it's just a shot in the wind, like a, a, a meme coin or something to that nature. And then once you get this portfolio built up, to your 10,000, then you could start looking into other uh, investments. You know, once you get that, the 10,000 in, you look at some other investments like ICOs, you know, projects that are gonna launch in a bull run, which generally projects that uh, have, are very promising that launch in bull runs do very well. I mean, if you go back and uh, look at some stats, projects that launched in, in uh, bull runs did, did extremely well. So you could also look into staking because if you, you know, now that you got your 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 budget where it's at, you have all your targets in place, um, you know, you you may want to look into, you know, having that, you know, mentality to go into staking, you know, staking some of the, maybe it's staking uh, some of the investments that you have already, you know, maybe you have a project uh, that you, you know, you believe in and you want to stake into it to gain some rewards. Uh, because at that point you're going to be making money off of your investment to the project then you'll be gaining extra uh you know tokens for staking and then you know if the project does extremely well you know now you're making some passive income aside from your initial investment so these are all strategies to make yourself become extremely successful in cryptocurrency and then you'll start to make some big money in this bull run then you could actually go into the next bull run with the fat pocket and be able to pick up some bitcoin etfs or something you know jump into every uh facet of cryptocurrency you could have you know investments in cryptocurrency tokens you can now have you know the funds to jump into a lot of staking protocols for the next big bull run then you could you know get into the nft space because we know the nft space is going to kick off i'm really not a big nft guy because i'm not too savvy on them but I spend most of my time in cryptocurrency projects. So, you know, that's something for you, you know, jump in NFTs and make some money off of that. Now you're fully vested into cryptocurrency. And, you know, if you go ahead and recap, you know, your whole journey, you're able to put 10 grand in, make some big money off of that, invest in some ICOs that you made big money off of, you know, staking rewards start to pay out after the bull run hits, you know, so there's a lot of ways to put yourself in you know position to be very very successful in cryptocurrency now you know like i said going into the next bull run you already you know you already 20 30 grand into crypto uh for your projects that you think that are going to be kicking it uh doing good in the next one and you know what i'm saying so it's a cycle right so you keep yourself in that cycle and you're able to pull you know maybe 150 200 grand and put it in your pocket that's the reality of being successful and doing the right things and having the right mentality and cryptocurrency so i hope you guys got something out of this video guys make sure you guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button um and just to share some of the projects that i'm in you know i have xrp icp uh sui jasmine veracity ai tech injection render bone uh celestia flux um and then i have some shiba in you that i've been holding on for some years uh hopefully that does well i invested in a couple icos uh cali chain was one of them